we shall overcome. For this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. And we thank God that we have the blessed opportunity of being able to have faith in God because the faith of God is displayed in the Word of God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word was made flesh, and it dwelled among us as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. We thank God for this opportunity of being able to share with you again the blessed Word of God. Let me add that the Word of God has been made the most viable, the most uh, accepted, even though there are many that reject it, but there are billions that have received it and accepted it. What is being said The Word of God is our foundation. The foundation of the Lord standeth sure, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are His. And in being God's, we have the responsibility of standing in and standing on His Word. The Word of God is a sure foundation, amen, and it is also wisdom. The wisdom of God many times warns us. Old men are not always wise, the hoary head, which we are to honor, but they are not always wise. It is wise to follow the printed Word of God daily and very carefully. The Word of God has warned us concerning certain activities. And when the Word of God warns us, then we have the responsibility of being wise and follow the warning. Now there are times when all of us may detour and go our own way, but then we have to reap the consequences of our decision of going another way, which is against the Word of God. The Word of God gives us the record of how the prophet Jeremiah spoke concerning Blood was found in the skirts of the women. Yes, the women of Israel. That was referring to babies that had been aborted by women. They had decided after having their pleasure with a man, regardless of whether they were married to him or not, that the baby would not be carried by them until birth, and they aborted the baby. The baby, of course, being a soul, once it's conceived, the baby is considered a soul, and of course, that soul is in the presence of God. Depending on the age of the fetus or the embryo, it went into the presence of God, yes, and then uh, it was transformed according to the will of God. Somebody wants to know, well, did that baby grow up to be a human? Not, no, not in eternity 
the baby stayed the same size, even though it took on the form that it was intended by God in his mind, male or female. But it's in the number, amen. It's in the number that John saw in Revelations, the number that no man could number out of every nation. And we give God the glory for that. However, on top of the earth still, there are people that live and make decisions. And when they decide upon understanding and realizing that they have conceived a child and they decide that they do not want that child to live, if they abort that child, in God's mind, that is murder. When they decide. The Bible talks about murderers. Murderers will have their part in the lake of fire that burneth with brimstone unless they repent. And that is the urgency that is upon the ministries of Jesus Christ that we urge those who have not yet done so to repent and believe the gospel. Be sorry. Godly sorrow, work of repentance. Not to be repented of, but the sorrow of the world, the work of death. Sorry enough to decide that it will never be done again and move in that direction that it will never be done again. That means living a life that is acceptable unto the Lord Jesus, a life of sanctification. In answer to God's prayer, that was re- to the prayer rather that was received by God, the prayer of Jesus Christ that was received by God, in St. John, the 17th chapter, where Jesus prayed, Sanctify them through thy truth, for thy word is truth. Sanctify them. Set them apart when they repent. Cleanse them from sin when they repent through the blood that was going to be shed. Sanctify them. Yes. Oh, yes, God forgives And when we're forgiven, it's as if it was never done. So therefore, we have a wonderful, great opportunity of being able to make it right, get our record expunged. (laughs) Praise God. So let me encourage you today, those of you that are under the sound of my voice that are standing in and standing with the Word of God. Let us continue to stand as people that are for life. We are for life. That the embryo, the fetus, the baby will live. And we are among those that declare that Jesus is the way the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by him. And so therefore, we are Christians. Those that are written, our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith, our faith in Jesus Christ. Let's pray, God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this time of sharing. We lose conviction power on those that are hearers and listeners today. If there be anyone in this audience today that has yielded to cause a baby to not live any longer, not because of a doctor's decision to take the baby because it endangers the mother's life. But it's just because of the decision to end the baby's life. Lord, if there's someone of that 
category, we pray that your power will go and move in their lives, in their hearts, in their minds, that the spirit of adoption will take hold into their hearts, and the repentance will be theirs, knowing that the blood of Jesus is enough, yes, to expunge our sins. We we'll give you the glory for the blood today. Have your way in our hearts continually. Have your way in this nation. We touch and agree with every prayer that's being prayed for this nation, for the leaders of this nation, and for the fact that there will be other leaders chosen. We ask that the power of God will prevail in that, in the choosing. Lord, and we will give you the glory, and we will say that you have done it in Jesus' name. Now, beloved, we thank God for you. I want to say that this coming Saturday at 10 a.m., we will be on Zoom. Yes, 9.30, we will be praying as usual, and uh, we will be on Zoom. And the information as our forerunner will be on the screen. Well, God bless you until next time.